here she comes, the highway woman. She comes with music for your soul, and then moves along. This is Bridget London, if you just join us on the Highway Woman radio show. And with me right now, I am uh, very happy to have on the show a band that's uh, new to me, actually, and they've got a debut album out, and if you haven't heard them, you're going to love their music. They're called the Howland Brothers. Hey, guys, how you doing? Doing good. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing good. Okay, so let's tell everybody, we've got Jared Green, who plays guitar, harmonica, and vocals. Ian Kraft, is that right, on fiddle, banjo, and, and vocals, all right, and Ben Plass on upright bass. So where are you fellows at today? We're in, uh, we're actually in Manhattan today. We're playing a show at Hill Country Live tonight, downtown Manhattan. Very cool, very cool. Now, now none of you are actual brothers, right? That's right. We all met in, in college in upstate New York, Ithaca, New York, about nine years ago. About nine years ago. Okay, great. And now your sound is so unique. It's like a rock and roll, bluegrass, New Orleans jazz fusion. <laughs> it's, uh, it's so wonderful. I mean, first of all, let's start with you, Jared. Like, what kind of music were you, were you doing before you got together with the other two gentlemen? Was it similar to this, or was this kind of like a multi-creation between the three of you? I think it's a multi-creation. I think we all grew up loving blues music. Mm -hmm. and old-time spring band music, which we dug into a lot more since living in Nashville. Uh, but I grew up here in a uh, string band in my hometown and uh, listened to everything from classic rock to, uh, you know, Muddy Waters, blues music, Doc Watson, a whole bunch of good stuff. So you're originally from New York then, Jared? I'm originally from Bayfield, Wisconsin. We have my lake <laughs> All right. I'm yeah. from a little town called Black River Falls, Wisconsin. <laughs> Hey, I know, I know that sound. <laughs> you might be one person that does. <laughs> How about you, Ian? Where are you from originally? Um, I grew up just north of Ithaca in a little town called Homer, New York. All right. And Ben, how about you? I was born in Halifax, Nova Scotia, and I lived there until I was about 10, and then I grew up uh, in the suburbs of Boston. Very cool. So... It's interesting because you you know like I was saying there's such a there's a mountain feel sometimes and there's a jazz New Orleans feel sometimes there's such a great mix and when you guys now you all met uh, in college you say when you first started playing you know did this evolve over time or did did you all kind of come with a, a vision initially as far as the sound Yeah I think the sound evolved over time I think we all kind of started playing folk music old time music and bluegrass partly cuz uh, Ian just was a good guy and, and was already keen to some of the, the good songs, like uh, traditional songs. We'd have campfire jams, and, and uh, it was just a lot of fun to do some picking and singing around the campfire. And that led to starting an old-time band up in Ithaca, and that was so much fun that uh, we just kind of needed a new place to do it, so we moved to Nashville. Very cool. Well, let's play a couple tracks for everyone. I'd like to start out with uh, Big Time. <laughs> and All right. And then finish it up with a Delta Queen. Now, of y'all, do you all three participate in the writing of the material? Sometimes it depends. Every song is a little different. Mm -hmm. The songs will, whoever started it, will have it pretty well thought out. And other songs takes two or three of us to finish it. All right, then let's play Big Time and Delta Queen from the brand new album from the Howlin' Brothers, which is uh, aptly entitled Howl. <laughs> Here we go. We'll be right back on the Highway Woman radio show. Take it. 
that was Delta Queen and Big Time from the new album Howl from my guest on the show. We have the Howlin' Brothers. We're talking with them. They're up in New York getting ready to play a show. So you guys have been uh, touring pretty heavily. You're getting a really great response from this new album. What are your plans as far as like the next few months? Where are you going to be hitting so we can let our listeners know? We're going to do a run at right midday. We're going up to the Midwest. We're going to go up actually all the way up to Toronto and then Chicago and Minneapolis for a few dates. And then that's going to be followed by a Western run. We're going to go through Colorado, do a few dates, and make our way all the way up to Washington State. And I believe that includes stops in Utah, Idaho, all the way up to Washington State, British Columbia, and Oregon. And we kind of make our way back to Colorado. It's a big, big trip coming up. Yeah. I'll say. That's great. Now, when you guys are doing your live performances, uh, you have the three of you, and, and that's all you need. You don't really need any other backup musicians, do you, or do you have other players? No, we travel just the three of us, and, yeah. and uh, the sound fills out pretty, pretty good between the three of us. Absolutely. Yeah, I think that I would love to see you guys live. I can imagine how much energy you put forth. I've watched some of the videos online, and there's such a great uh, electric energy and, and feels so alive on, on the record. Now, where did you guys record this album? We recorded it in Nashville at a studio called Welcome to 1979. It's a great old studio owned by Chris Mara, who's also originally from Wisconsin. I think we were the fourth record Brendan's recorded there. This record was produced by Brendan Benson of the Rackin' Tours. And this was, I believe, his fourth project he recorded there. So, uh, a really nice vibe. They had a lot of um, old microphones and uh, recorded it onto tape. It's a really cool old building. It was a lot of fun. All right. Very cool. Now, Ben, uh, with your upright bass, who are some of your favorite upright bassists that, uh, that you kind of look to for inspiration as far as your own instrument goes? Well, first and foremost, all the previous bass players in the Allen Brothers, J.T. Husky, Jake Cox, who are some of the Dom Fisher, Dom Fisher, and J.T.'s dad, Roy Husky, was amazing. You know, I uh, I used to really love jam bands. I like Phil Lesh, and I like Paul McCartney a lot. I like melodic, groovy bass players. <laughs> <laughs> what about you with the fiddle, Ian? I think my favorite is uh, Vassar Clements. And now, you, do you play mostly fiddle when you're playing live? Because I know it says both your, you and Ben both play banjo. You rotate back and forth on your live shows between the fiddle and the banjo? Yeah, I usually I'll play fiddle, uh, banjo, and, and depending on if it's a longer set, I'll play mandolin as well. Cool. All right. Yeah. You guys uh, have any plans to come through Texas? We do in October. I think mid-October we're doing a few dates. Great. Houston and Can't wait for that, and I'll have to definitely make sure uh, I come out and see you all. When you're traveling on the road, who you who do you guys have in your uh, iPod or whatever you listen to, iPod, CD player? Well, <laughs> we actually don't have an iPod, do we? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a way to get some kind of band. <laughs> we'll start, yeah. we'll start yeah. a Howling yeah. Brothers iPod fund, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, have, we have CDs. We, we listen to... Uh, John Hartford, Doc Watson, Howlin' Wolf, Muddy Waters, Turquoise Jeep. Turquoise Jeep, yeah. There's some good laughs. Well, why don't uh, one of you all pick a track for us to play? You know, I'd love to hear My Dog Can't Bark. I love uh, that track. <laughs> all right. Here's My Dog Can't Bark from the new album Howl from the Howlin' Brothers, and we'll be right back. <laughs> And if you're just joining us, this is Bridget London. You're listening to the Highway Woman radio show. I've had a wonderful visit here with the great Howlin' Brothers. They're up in New York right now doing some shows. They're going to be traveling all across the U.S. and you name it, promoting their new album. They're getting such great feedback. This music is fantastic. It's so unique. It's just, I don't know, it's got so much great energy. And uh, I think you guys are, you know, I know it's been mentioned by other critics, but I'll just reiterate the fact that you're really great about 
you know, really honoring tradition and yet creating something fresh from it. And that's, that's a hard thing to accomplish. It really is, you know? Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah. Now, anything else, you guys, uh, any projects or anything you want to share with us? Yeah, we're, check out our website, thehowlandbrothers.com, H-O-W-L-I-N, brothers.com, and uh, there'll be more information about us, where we're playing. You can buy our, our records there. And uh, soon get some, should be some t-shirts up there real soon and stickers. And uh, also our friend Willie Mason just released his uh, vinyl, which is a really cool thing they do upstairs at United Pressing where they actually press the vinyls. And uh, we played on it. And uh, it's cool. They do it all live straight to two-track, and then it goes straight to the pressing. You know, there's not, you know, it's all mixed live. It's real old school. It was a cool thing to be a part of. And it's a great record. His parents wrote all the songs. And, yeah, that, that's really, great. What's the name of that, honey? What's the name of the record? Okay. I think it's, it's called uh, Will Mason <laughs> all right. Live Upstairs at United. Cool. That sounds really interesting. Oh. We'll have to tell people to look out for that. And again, that's the Howland Brothers, Howland, H-O-W-L-I-N, brothers.com. And you all are on Twitter and Facebook and you're all technologicized, right? <laughs> yeah, we're on, we're on all that stuff. we got to keep up. <laughs> all right. Well, why don't you all pick one more track for us to go out on, and we want to make sure we tell all our listeners to get a copy of the brand-new album, Howl, and uh, go see them when they come through your town for sure. So what do you all want to hear? Let's go out with one of y'all's another pick from you. Oh, I think it would be cool to hear Gone. All right, that's great. And you guys have a great live video of this song on YouTube, too. I want to tell folks to check it out. All right. All right. Very cool. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you. We appreciate it. Oh. She warned me once, warned me twice, but I don't take no one's advice, and I'm gone. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Bridget London, and this has been the Highway Woman Radio Show. Now there she goes. Mute.